The early access game Magicide is a 2D side-scroller by Smash Games. The core focus of Magicide is a fairly typical survival and crafting scenario. The game starts out with a character editor that allows you to change the way that your character looks, but here you also get to roll for different stats, change your race which assigns new bonuses, as well as roll for new traits. Once you get your character sorted and the game actually starts, everything feels super simple and extremely intuitive. You can move around, jump, double jump, attack, or use an item. The controls are so easy that I started having fun right away. I spent the whole first hour doing nothing but jumping around, swinging my axe, and exploring the different biomes. After you finally settle down and decide to start crafting, you'll find this system is just as easy as the other controls. You can move items around in your inventory with a left click and drag, split stacks of items with a right click, and you can combine or craft items by holding down shift and left clicking them. Simplicity here is nice, but it isn't perfect. I found myself randomly clicking items together to see if they would craft anything, because other than the most basic recipe, the game doesn't really give you any hints as to how to craft new items. Luckily, crafting isn't the only way that you can obtain items in the game. Aside from harvesting and crafting items, you can also buy things from towns that you run into randomly throughout the environment. The towns is where I run into my biggest problem with the game. Survival crafting games are their own genre now, and being influenced by games that have come before Magicide is awesome. There are some parts of this game that seem to cross that boundary from influenced by to copied from. A lot of the tool icons in Magicite seem to be taken directly from Minecraft, and some of the enemies like pigs and slimes also seem to be nearly direct replicas. Based on what I've seen so far, I know the developers are creative people. I hope in future releases they apply that creativity to separate themselves a little bit more from other games in the genre. Besides what I see as some overly similar traits, the game is really fun. All of the different biomes are varied with their own individual environmental hazards and monster types. But be warned, the game is really hard. Death is permanent, and that means every time you die, you have to start the game all over again. And believe me, you will die. Over, and over, and over again. But when you die, it's not unfair. Each of the enemies has its own unique movement pattern, and you can learn to take advantage of this, but it doesn't feel like rock, paper, scissors at all. It takes honest practice and skill to get by some of these enemies, and it makes it even harder and more fun knowing that there are big bad boys out there that you just can't fight yet at your level. At $10 for an early access game, Magicite feels just a tiny bit overpriced. But if you enjoy a challenging side-scroller, and you can get past some of the overbearing similarities to other crafting games, then you'll have a tremendous amount of fun with this game.